Hi YouTubers. Okay, today I'm going to show you something a little different. Now, I have decided to do this one today because, well, I've had to do this at work during the week. What I do is I have one auto work program at work that I'll leave running all the time and it does specific tasks for me when I'm not at work. So like at 5 o'clock in the morning, it'll go and update a few different spreadsheets because we get some results in overnight and saves me having to do it all in the morning. I walk in, it's all done. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna, just going to show you well, the basics on date and time in AutoIt. Okay, so first off, what we'll need to do is we'll actually need to include, if I can spell properly this morning, the date. So that'll list, or that'll help us with um, doing all of our date and times. All right. So just as a quick example of date sort of things, we'll start off with a message box. Now the first one that I'm going to show you is the day of the month. Okay. So just put that as M day. Okay, we'll hit F5. I'll show you that one. Okay, so it says 15. Well, today it's the 15th of April today. Okay. Now, yeah, just so we wanted to also know if we just wanted the month, then we type at MON, F5, it's the fourth month. And same with the year, you just type year F5 2017. Now, if we wanted to say, like, have the complete date, well, then we'd have end day. We've got to use our joiner. And then we'll say put a forward slash in, another joiner. And then we'll want the month, the joiner, yeah. and then hit F5, gives us the dates, 15th day, the 4th month, 2017. Now of course you can put that in any order that you want. Um, so next, now we're going to start using a bit more, putting a bit of practical use to it. So, we'll go back to our good old if statement, so we'll say if M day equals, we'll say today's the 15th, which it is, then we'll have another message box, put it's the 15th today. Else, I'll just copy that and say it's not the 15th today. Alright, so I'll hit F5. So, it's our date, and it says it's the 15th today. So, if I want to change that and say 16th, Hit F5, says today's 15th of the 4th, it's not the 15th today. So what you can actually do is say if you want to run something on the first day of every month, you know, like if you've got end of month reports and they need to get done first day every month, 12, to, like 12 times a year, what you could do is say if M day equals 1, then do something. Actually, it has to be zero one. So if it's if the day of the month equals zero one, then open up this Excel spreadsheet, do something with it. If not, ignore it. But then, how do you make it actually determine if it is the day of the month every year? Right, well, that is where it gets a little tricky. 
because what we'll need to do is we'll need to put in a loop. Okay, so what we need to do is we, as I said, we need to put in a loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment out that and we'll start with, so we've got a, so we'll call it loop and then we'll go do plus equals one and then we'll need to dim i oops another doom. So I'm doing it this way purely because it's the way I do it at work. It works for me. It should work for you. Um, if it doesn't, put something in the comments and I'll um, see if I can come up with something better. So dim I plus one. So then we'll actually make it do this. Him say do until and we'll say dot sign equals five. Oops. Um, let's try that again. Dot sign i equals five. If it doesn't, then go to sleep. Four. Now this is where we need to make it um, sleep for the entire day and then just come back and check tomorrow. Okay, so with the sleep command, 1000 milliseconds equals a second. So to make it sleep for an entire day, we've got a times a thousand by 60 seconds. Gives us 60,000. Um, so that gives us the minute. Now there's 60 minutes an hour which brings us back to I think it's 3,600,000 and we need to times that by 24 hours so it gives us the number of 864 one day so that means then the robot if it's not the 15th it'll sleep for a day And then try again. So, but it'll try that for five days in a row. And if it doesn't hit the fifteenth within that time, then this is where that second loop will actually come in. Okay. So what it'll do is it'll do that for. What's that? 250 days straight. Now your computer's probably not going to run for 250 days straight, but uh, I mean, like you'll probably end up having to reboot it at least once a week. So um, that's how you get your AutoWet program to do a loop. So all you do there is you just run it in the background, um, and say so, you know, so it says on the 15th day of every month, do something. So you can also make it go down to a time, like do a specific time, but I'll get into that one next time. Um, I'll actually show you an example of one that I actually do. It actually opens up an Excel program at a specific date and or a specific day of the month and time, and it will open up that Excel program, run a specific macro that it goes and do, does a few updates, closes everything down, and waits until it's ready again. Alright, so that's all for today's program. Um, if you've got any comments, let me know. If you like what you see, hit the like button. But until then, happy trails, and I'll um, see you soon with uh, the next example.